Hey there folks, today I want you to be able to use an online instrument to play a song that we're learning in class. So I'm going to show you in this video how to set it up so that you can actually read some music while you play an online instrument instead of one that you found around the house. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is in your Canvas assignment, this is my Canvas assignment, I'm going to click on the link to the online instrument. For different lessons this month, we're going to use different instruments. So for today's lesson on December 2nd, we're going to use the xylophone. Now let me show you a couple of things about the xylophone. You can take off some of the bars by clicking on the letters here. For ding dong, ding a ding a dong, you can take off B and F and F and that will work great. So this will set this setup will help you play the correct notes. The problem is, is that in order to read the music, I have to go back here. Now, if you know the song well enough to figure it out by ear, that's fine. But most people find the music at least a little bit helpful. So I want you to be able to see the music while you play your xylophone. So let me show you what to do. While you're in the instrument screen, you're going to go over here and click on the double boxes that say Restore Down. I'm in the top right-hand corner of my screen on a desktop or laptop. I'm going to hit Restore Down, and that makes everything smaller. Now I'm going to click on the Music Activity tab, and I'm going to drag until the box separates. And now I have two distinct web browsers open. Now, in order to make my music visible, I might have to go over here and click on these three dots and change the size. That way it makes it a little smaller and then I can scoot my instrument over. Then I might have to resize and scooch my xylophone over a little bit so that I can see all the xylophone and all the music. That's actually pretty good, but if I need to move it up, and sometimes that happens where Sometimes I grab it with my mouse wrong and then it'll go back to the original size. So I just hit the restore down box again and then I can continue moving it. If it gets in front of my xylophone, I can just click on the xylophone tab and there we have it. Easy, easy. Now whenever I play, I can actually read the notes. And I know the first note is C and then G. And then I know I'm supposed to play A four times. And yes, it is a little bit slow, but it is a melodic instrument, so that's kind of cool. So today, whenever you're figuring out how to play Ding Dong, Ding Ding Dong on the xylophone, please go slowly. It's okay that it goes slowly. Take your time and figure it out, because if you can play it slowly, then whenever you get a chance to play it more quickly, it won't be so hard. All right, I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.